he's not standing on the field. Yeah. I stand up for five. Oh, we're five. Who gets work? Carson, teach the test. No, how much do I get? I'm on off. Okay. Think about if you want me to choose, let you choose your partners against the future. The rest of us would appreciate your partner needs to get off chat. I said, one of the Right, you guys, let's chat about it. If you're not all the way done, that's okay. So we're gonna come together. Okay. Um, first thing, let's just really quickly talk about their childhood. How do you think their childhoods affect them? So you know the difference in approach. Any ideas like how their childhood might have affected them? What do you think, Carson? Go for it. Well, like since du Dubois came from like a more like easier childhood, I guess, because like I mean he was going to a free black family and he went to Harvard. I think that kind of gives him like a better like standpoint from where he comes from and then uh, Washington obviously came from a more difficult childhood, childhood so I think they say Alex might be stronger because he's sticking up from where he came from. Yeah and you guys what's he born into? Like what's yeah. he's born as what? He's born a slave. So like think about what he's seen in his life by the time he's like leading the Tuskegee Institute. His life has seen slavery to no longer slavery He's seen some progress in his life. So like in his mind, he's seen things, and this tends to be true, he's the older of the two. Older people tend to like expect change to take longer. They've seen change over time, they've got kind of a, like a, a bigger version of things, a grander kind of view of things. Whereas W.E.B. Du Bois is born into freedom. So the only world he's ever known is the post-Civil War world. So the, the worst of what he's seen is the New South. And so to his mind, that's the worst it can be, and he's fighting for all sorts of equality. It kind of leads him, and this is true, younger people fight for more change faster. They expect change faster, they want change faster. Older people tend to kind of have a more like long-term view of things and, and tend to be okay with a more gradual approach. I just like to point that out to you guys, okay? Um, they don't actually like each other that much. They have some respect for each other, but they actually both think the other one's undoing their cause. And we see this within social movements all the time. Everybody wants the same outcome, but they disagree on the best route to go to it, and then they think the other person's harming the outcome. We'll see that again when we talk about women fighting for the right to vote. Okay, uh, the question I have on here is, which approach do you think white politicians, Caucasian politicians, politicians at this time are mostly all white, would prefer? Do you think they'd like Booker T. Washington or W.E.B. Du Bois? Who's the one they'd like want to go to as their civil rights leader? Any guesses here? What do you think, Gilbert? Booker. Yeah, I agree. Do you guys agree it's Booker? Yeah. yeah. Why? What about Booker do you think they prefer? Just, just like, better than Booker has to be very, nobody wants to make things get it while Booker is like, wants everybody to get it. All right. Let's add on. What else do you think? Alex, add on. Uh, I said that Dubois is a lot more demanding. Like, he's not as subtle with his approach. Yeah, one of these three
three do you think, especially Southern leaders, are most concerned with? Political, social, or economic? Which of the three do you think they are most concerned with protecting inequality in terms of? Uh, political. Political, probably. So they get to stay in power. What else do you think they care about? Social. Social, Social, because they honestly don't want their kids going to school with people that look different than them. And they want to create this, like, social hierarchy. Economics, as long as it's not interfering with their money, they don't care as much. So to them, Booker T. Washington is a more acceptable version of fighting for equality. He is fighting for change, but one that probably doesn't interfere with most white people's lives. Does that kind of make sense? Whereas W.B. Du Bois is kind of like fighting the system, trying to take down the whole system, trying to radically change the South. In which case, in the North, because there's all of this in the North as well, which a lot of politicians are actually more okay with like the calmer of the two approach, the easier, it ruffles less feathers is kind of the way to think about it. We are gonna see something really similar when we get to the 60s and the 50s and we talk about the civil rights movement, the more modern one, we're gonna learn about Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. They are going to be later versions that, that disagree with each other, that have very different views on how to achieve civil rights and are, are treated very differently. Okay, last question and we'll move forward. Who do you think have the more effective way of achieving equality? So there is no right or wrong answer to this. I'm gonna have you guys take a poll so everyone has to raise their hand or else I'll individually call on you and ask you what you think. All right, so this is my, my don't, don't give up the vote. Who do you think was, like who do you think's approach is actually the better one. Like if you were someone at this time, probably a black person at this time, which model do you think you would have followed because you were hoping it would actually achieve equality? Raise your hand if you would have chosen Booker T. Washington. You think his approach was better? Okay, raise your hand if you think W.B. Du Bois. All right, anybody wanna share their thoughts? I'm gonna open it up. Why? Start us off. All right, you feel like Booker T's was more tangible, it had more yeah. specifics to it? What do you think? I think like Washington's was more of like a long-term plan, and like, <coughs> well, um, the law just really wanted to like, equality right now, but like Washington's was like, equality for, for forever. All right, so you think the gradual approach is just always a better, or in this case, not maybe not always, but a better way of trying to achieve this? Anyone else want to add on? Go for it. I think it's just like more realistic, because they do look like happens in the South and that it's gonna take a long time and we have like specific priorities and it's kind of like very in the audience of like the white people. Yeah. All right. Who chose W.B. Du Bois? Who wants to defend that choice? Go for it, Carl. Uh, he educated himself on like, he took two years to learn about black lives in Philadelphia and then he started his organization. So he didn't just jump right into it. He educated himself first, and then he started a smart political attack. Yeah, and his is like, in his defense, like a nationwide movement organization, whereas like the Tuskegee Institute's great, but it's like one school. Anybody else have any thoughts on W.B. Du Bois? It doesn't matter. Either answer works. It's just an opinion question. Okay, we are going to spend the rest of class working on two things. The first thing is finding out about this woman, Ida B. Wells, and what she does to fight for racial equality. I always like it personally when we get to talk about like strong women in history. So yay, Ida B. Wells. The second thing is, at the end of this semester, you guys are gonna have a research paper. It just is a fact. It's worth half of your final, 10% of your grade this class. Along the way this year, we're gonna do just little mini doses of practicing research. So that when I set you loose on researching for this paper, it's not all brand new, or it's not all things you did just a year ago. So what we're gonna do today is, we are going to learn about her by just looking at three of the databases Kirkwood has. You guys have used many of these databases before, but I wanna kinda of talk about the pros and cons of it. It's short, like I'm saying, we're gonna spend no more than 10 minutes per database. So I'm, I'm asking for a really low key. And the goal of this is maybe to break some habits you guys had from world history, my always thing with research is I want us to research smarter, faster, more effective. I do not want you to spend forever researching. I want you to find your facts, details as fast as you can. And I think that's what you guys want. Find good research, but don't waste our time. Okay, so we are going to start 
what we're going to do is we're going to try to answer this question. What role did Ida B. Wells play in the fight for racial equality in America? So by the time you're done reading about her on these three different databases, you want to figure out specifically what she did with details. All right? What were the things she did to try to fight for racial equality? The first one we're going to look at is World Book. I have listed the databases. I'm giving you the passwords and kind of some advice. Um, it is possible the links won't work. If that happens, you always have a research folder in your uh, library page, and it also always has the password. So if you get home,